Today it's about the return of the one-time prodigal son, Jeff George, to Atlanta. George is gone. June Jones gone. The run and shoot gone. They're all related stories. Here to relate them, Sal Palantonio. Thanks, Chris. Jeff George says his nationally televised shouting match with June Jones and subsequent release by the Falcons left him a changed man. He says he's more mature. He says he's readily accepting criticism more. But he says one thing probably hasn't changed, the way he'll be greeted by the fans here in Atlanta. It won't be anything new. You know, uh, um, you know they didn't like me when I was here, and they obviously don't like me now. So, uh, you know, that's, that's not a problem. It's going to be crazy. Um, booze don't bother Jeff. Jeff is so cool. They don't bother him. He's, he said he's heard it all through his career, so it doesn't bother him. He's going to come in here and try to shut the fans up. These guys are going at it. Yep. Oakland's looking closer for Jeff George. And, and that kind of conversation may seal his fate. How would you characterize your stay with the Falcons now that you've had some time to reflect back on it? Uh, I reflect back on the one year we went to the playoffs. And I'm proud of that, but everything else, you know, you just want to forget. You know, it's uh, there were some bad times, and uh, you know, they probably feel the same way. But uh, I've, you know, you move forward. I'm in a great situation in, in California and with the Raiders, and uh, yeah, it's a perfect fit. You know, when you take the field and you're announced, <laughs> and you come out for that first play, the reaction is going to be a chorus of boos. You know, it's not going to be any different than the way it was in the past. You know, it was, it was the same way last year and two years ago. And you know, even when we went to the playoffs, you know, we, we, you know, I got booed. So, you know, I feel right at home. We deserve the boos. Goodness gracious, I'm booing us. You can't, you can't blame, you know, players for everything. You know, I know you have to go out there and perform. But if you're not in a situation that has, uh, the organization has stability, um, you know, you're never going to win. And, uh, um, you know, it's not the player's fault. And, uh, um, you know, you just need stability in organizations. The incident with June Jones. A lot of people will be surprised, but I understand <clears throat> you're close friends with June and you talk to him regularly. Yeah, June's a, a real close friend of mine, and uh, and we do talk, and and uh, and we'll remain that way. And uh, what went on last year, uh, uh, we everyone knows that it was uh, above uh, uh, the coach and, and myself, and uh, he uh, he taught me a great deal. You know, not just about football, but uh, about life and well, what how about to his relationship with June Jones? Well, you know, they claim to have a close relationship, but something wasn't repaired from that sideline incident. June Jones lost his job. All of his assistants lost their jobs. Jeff George is in another city. This guy may not have fully grown up yet. Motion, lining up as a wide receiver, then coming in motion, and now in a normal tight end spot. Another check off by George. They pick up the blitz, and George throws it downfield. Caught. Jet. Touchdown. Well, they say in Jets, just a speedster that he doesn't have hands. He puts that to rest with a one-hand snatch, a 55, 51-yard touchdown. Jeff George again, rolling off his back foot, not being able to step up into the football. Now, Jeff George can only uh, kill the clock and celebrate his return to Atlanta. And there's the gesture from Jeff George, pointing to the crowd that has booed him throughout the entire game. He'll keep that football, I suspect. <laughs> if he's going to boot to the crowd, he's the point to the crowd. He might want to do it the whole way around the stadium. And I believe he will. <laughs> Falcons dominate time of possession, 36 minutes, 50 seconds, but lose the game. And, look and Jeff George is rubbing it in. He sure is. I don't know if I'd want to do that. Just accept the victory and go into the locker room. Jeff George with a taunt. For the Falcons fans who have booed him all day, keeps the game ball as the Raiders notch their first victory of the season. A victory lap for Jeff George. He better hope he doesn't return to Atlanta anytime soon. And he is. You're right. He's doing a victory lap. He's going to all four corners of the end zone, and he's not stopping. Did they say this was the new, mature Jeff George? Strike back. We'll be back to Atlanta for some final comments after these messages as the Raiders outlast the Falcons 36-31.